What's up everyone, my name is Pete. I'm always making videos documenting my rides and adventures. One piece of equipment that has added a whole new perspective and level to my videos is a Sky Dio. If you don't know what this is, it's a self-flying drone that follows me wherever I go. More importantly, it avoids crashing into things so I can focus on things like riding, not flying. I've owned my Sky Dio for almost a year now. I've learned a couple things on how to dial in my setup and fly it off the dirt bike. In this video, I'll show you my setup and share five valuable things that I've learned along the way. So even though the Sky Dio is super easy to fly, you have to be able to carry everything on your bike. Being able to quickly get the drone out and in the air is super important for me. Uh, same goes for landing it and putting it away so I can quickly get on with the ride. Last thing I wanna do is hold up the group with all my stupid gadgets. I'm gonna be completely honest by saying if it's a big pain in the ass, I simply won't do it. And that kind of goes against the whole reason I bought the drone. I want that cool aerial footage from the ride. So if you're not familiar with the Sky Dio, if you don't have one yet, this is what the case looks like. Inside you'll find the drone and two batteries. All right, as far as the setup on the bike goes, uh, for carrying the Sky Dio, I carry it in, this is my go-to bag. It's my Climb Knack Pack bag. Yeah, the Climb Knack Pack bag has this nice little compartment, which I think is where normally where the tool roll goes. But the Sky Dio case just kind of slides in there nice and neat. And then this goggle bag kind of keeps it from sliding out of the top. And then speaking of the goggle compartment, that is where I put my controller. It has a nice little spot, keeps it safe, protected. Um, the controller I don't always bring with me, but it's nice to have if your buddies are hitting a hill climb or something or some super technical section, you can bust out the controller and have full control of the Sky Dio and really get in there and get some cool shots of, uh, of whatever it is you're filming. Uh, as far as batteries go, like I said, there's two in the case. Uh, I've got five total. I just put the extra batteries in this front bag, but there's plenty of room inside to put some more batteries or whatever you got. Another thing that's nice is this has a hydration bladder, so you can use it as your hydration pack. So speaking of bags, uh, there are other options out there. I started with the GoPro Day Tripper bag. It worked out really good. I'll show you how Sky Dio case just kind of slides in there perfectly. Nice and easy. Same thing. It's got, it's not a goggle compartment, but it's for like batteries and whatever, because it's basically a camera case. Uh, the controller fits in there nice with some extra batteries. It has a little tiny zippered pouch on the front. Well, not tiny, it's pretty big, but uh, anything you put in there is gonna kind of stick out. And what else? There is, there's like a spot for a laptop on the back, as well as a hydration pack. So that's pretty cool. It's got a hole that you can feed your tube through. And then another thing that's kind of nice, it's got a little GoPro clip there on the shoulder strap. If uh, you want to use this for like, traveling and have your GoPro out. Only reason I didn't like this bag is it wasn't necessarily a motorcycle geared towards motorcycles. The climb bag is. Uh, it was just a little bit, it felt a little bit bulkier than the knack pack, but still works great. I might keep this as my more like clean bag for traveling with the drone if I'm like flying or whatever, like flying on an airplane, not flying the drone. Um, but yeah, it's still a great bag. Uh, another third option for carrying the Sky Dio on the bike is I have these backpack straps that just clip onto the Sky Dio case itself. I have a smaller uh, Usui uh, hydration pack when I'm riding my bike and I can just throw the, the Sky Dio with the backpack straps on top of that small bag. And uh, I didn't bring them with me, but I'll show a little picture right here and uh, I'll link them in the description. But those work really good too. And it also works good for like, uh, if you're going out hiking and you just wanna stay as light as possible. So that is also a good option. Okay, and the next item I'm gonna discuss is the beacon. You have to have the beacon. If you wanna do any kind of motorsports, don't rely on just the phone app. It's not gonna track you nearly as good as the Beacon can. The Beacon's gonna allow you to go faster, have farther range, and just overall better signal in general. As far as mounting the Beacon on the bike, I've got it right here on my handlebars. This is the Dirty J Designs mount. I found it on Amazon. It stays mounted on my bars the whole time while I ride. And uh, it's just less set up this way and allows me to easily access the Sky Dio's position and whatever. So I keep it on the left side. So when I'm riding, obviously you don't want to take your hand off your throttle side. So keep it on the left side and you can see the screen and basically control the position or whatever mode you're in on the Sky Dio. So as far as the phone mount goes, it's a Ram, I think it's called a Ram Quick Grip. It's a spring-loaded uh, mount that phone quickly and easily 
gets put into. It's also held in there with the uh, ram ball mounts. Let me just take this off real quick and I can show you. So I just use the uh, short ram ball arms and I just use the short arm and attach it right there on the dash. Super quick and easy. I can transfer this from one bike to the next. I can, if I'm riding my 500, I'm on my 300 today, but if I'm riding my 500, I can quickly take all this off and just put it on the 500 because I got two of those little one inch ram balls mounted right on my uh, handlebar clamps. If I'm riding something else, like for example, my little ATC or my mountain bike or whatever, uh, this little cheapy phone mount, I guess it's not too cheap, but it was like 15 or 20 bucks, I think, maybe even less than that. Uh, this works really good. It's spring loaded and then you got these rubber bands on the back that grip the corners of the phone real quick. And then it's just got like a little clamp and I could just transfer this from bike to bike super easily that way i don't have to put a ram ball on every single bike that i have i had it on my uh definitely the atc ride if you haven't seen that video it's it's a hoot uh check that out on my channel but we did some stuff we were bouncing around on those things and this thing never came loose and phone never fell off so recommend this little guy i'll put a link in the description for that well, hopefully that answers your questions if you had any on uh, how i use my sky deal when riding my dirt bike uh, it's pretty quick and easy. Uh, like I said, I don't like holding up the group if I'm riding with a group of buddies and I want to get some footage. Uh, that climb knack pack works great to get the drone in and out of real quick. I don't even have to get off the bike. It actually, uh, I can pull the bag off, set it right here in my lap and get the drone out and then launch it with the beacon right here from the handlebars and then pair the phone real quickly to it. It takes a couple minutes, but usually you're waiting for like a few guys to come up in the back of the pack anyway. So it's worked out really well. So now that I've showed you my setup, I'm going to go over five tips for flying the Sky Dio off of a bike. Tip number one, use the beacon with your phone together. I can fly the Sky Dio simply by pairing the beacon to the drone, but if I pair the beacon to the drone and then pair the phone app to the beacon, it adds additional GPS signal strength as well as more functions to control the drone. Probably the most important part of that is uh, being able to see the live view of what the drone sees right here on my handlebars. If the shot just doesn't look right, if the lighting's off or the angle sucks, I could just quickly change it right here with the beacon. Tip number two, alternate drone position. Alternating the drone distance and positions helps me create variety in my videos. Uh, it's a proven fact that it, you retain an audience when the scene is constantly changing. Disable the height floor to get a better view of the horizon. Uh, just be super careful when doing this. The Skydio can't avoid moving objects. One skill that really helps switch up the angle and grab multiple backgrounds is the orbit skill. That one's pretty cool while you're riding. It kind of just spins around you while you're, while you're riding down the trail. Always gets a different background. Tip number three. Don't crash. Seems pretty obvious, but trust the blue light and pay attention to riding. A recent crash cost me more than the price of a full Sky Deal cinema kit. I wasn't 100% focused on my riding, I paid the price for it. Don't look up or back at the drone while riding. Not only does this ruin your shot and make you look like an idiot, it also is really unsafe. Focus on riding, trust the blue light on the beacon. If it's blue, it's locked on and following you. If it loses connection with the beacon, you'll hear it beep at you and the light will turn red. Tip number four, audio. If you want audio from your drone and you don't have anything else rolling, you're not gonna get any audio. There's no microphone on the drone. The drone can't record audio. It records audio from your phone when you have the phone paired. So you do this by tapping on the media tab on the Skydio app on your phone before you turn the Skydio off. This allows your phone uh, to sync with the Skydio and save an audio file to the SD card in the drone. And speaking of audio on the phone, if you're using the phone to record audio, use a wind muff or external mic or even a lav mic to eliminate wind noise. I use this little Movo, uh, it's like a mini shotgun mic and it's got the wind muff on it. I just plug that in on the phone, uh, especially if it's mounted on the handlebars and then you don't get all that wind noise. Tip number five, in order to get the best shot, plan your video or flight early in the morning or late in the day. Basically, whenever the sun is low, the lighting is at its best angle for good shots and adds so much more to your videos. If you're shooting in the middle of the day and the sun is directly overhead and there's no clouds, you're going to probably want to get one of those neutral density filters and uh, that way everything's not blown out. And also use the HDR function in the Skydio settings on the app. It really enhances uh, contrast and shadows in your videos. All right, that's going to do it for my setup and tips when riding and flying with my Skydio 2. 
Hopefully it's helped answer some of your questions, uh, but if you've got any more, hit me up. I'll gladly get back to you. Leave them in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.